is the soundproofing, there's the insulation and yeah. everything else. So what have you done for insulation then? All the insulation, the floor is insulated with with Dodo um, sound deadening rubber matting yeah. and then new 12 mil ply on the floor. So you've done a 12 mil ply? 12 mil ply on the floor on, on but with the Dodo matting underneath the floor. Every square inch of the inside of the van yeah. has been done with Dodo soundproofing. Okay. So yeah. that's the, the, the foil back yeah, rubber yeah. matting. They say you only need to do 60% of a panel because yeah. that's adequate. Yeah. And it absolutely is adequate. You don't have to go overboard. Yeah. But you did. Because of the nature that's of what I did good. as a job, yeah. I've always gone belt and brace. I needed to do this van over and above through every stage okay. of the build. Yeah. So if I was going to sell the van, I could say, right, this has all been done. These are all the photographs, these are the receipts, this is what I've done. Yeah. So it's done absolutely, you know, yeah. over and above what really would be needed. Gotcha. Okay. Consequently, the van is dead quiet. Okay. Super warm. Yeah. Um and we talk we talk about you know what you've put in the ceiling in a minute. Yeah. And what you've done on the walls. Um so you've done you've gone with the, the dodo map uh insulate is it or mm -hmm. insulate yeah. yeah and then you've done the what you had which was for flooring yeah then you've done the 12 mil ply mm -hmm. and then what have you put on your floor because you've you've got some yeah type of... on on the floor it's it's um it's a seven mil um perspective v groove uni lock okay vinyl flooring so that's the floor yeah what have you got in the walls in the walls is all that dodo matting. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I've got the dodo matting. I've got all the soundproofing first of all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then on top of the soundproofing then, I've got the um, the insulation. Is that the, the recycled the, one? Yeah, the plastic yeah. bottle insulation. Yeah. Um, I forget the make of it from readily available. I bought it from B&Q. Dial, I think. It is. Yeah, di yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, dial. Really cheap. Does the job. Yeah. And then... What's the foil name? Oh, you've done use? a vapor wrap. The vapor wrap. Yeah, you've then. done a vapor wrap. So this, the yeah. same as you've done yourself. Okay. Um, I bought the, the vapor wrap from Tool Station. Yeah. Um, yep. I vapor wrapped the whole floor. Okay. Yeah, completely sealed it. Up into the walls. Good. Okay. And reams and reams, rows and rows of foil tape. Yeah. Okay. You know, paranoid. Yeah. You know, about there being a gap or you know, a lot of people say you've got to have airflow when you've got to have this and you've got to have that. Yeah. Um so you've made a closed cell. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's okay. completely insulated yeah. everywhere. Um so it's slightly different to my build because I've I've done battens and then I've put yeah um twenty five mil um Celitex, which is a closed which cell. I, which yeah. I was wanting to do as well, yeah. but because my benches were going to be longer because of yeah. my height and i was and i did a different configuration to yourself you in respect to making the pull out benches yeah. and because i'm a bit bigger yeah my benches are taller bearing in mind what was going in the ceiling which is a 50 mil which is 50 mil yeah. yeah you know and the reason um, you've done that is because the same reasons i've done it is that with the ribs that are running the across ribs, the van the for ribs. the internal structure they are they are that depth that's it on the highest point yeah yeah so we needed to put something in there yeah to fill that that's void it. if you want yeah yeah um you see i think it's it's fair to say where you know you 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 only have to go into a back of a van when it's not insulated or it's not you know it's just metal yeah and just sit in the back of a van on a cold day and naturally you'll see the ceiling starting to well, sweat yeah condensation yeah, absolutely condensation. Yeah. so that's when warm air hits the metal and then it creates the water droplets and i think for me it's imperative to have that knowledge of how water droplets are actually formed on the metal yeah it's, it's, you know? it's and it's advising for the you know you've done a number of van builds so you yeah. learn as you go along yeah i've been really fortunate to have the experience of somebody yeah who's done three vivaro builds yes. from a van build virgin's point of view yeah i would say to anyone you know i didn't have the money to go out and just throw at this and just build it all yeah it was taking me two years what am i doing yeah but all of a sudden, once all that behind the scenes work is done and you've started carpeting and you've put your panels up, it's starting yeah. to take shape. Don't cut corners. Yeah, okay. It's, 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 it's pointless. Yeah. You know, oh, I only want it for this. Yeah. It, it'll do. 
yeah. that, that you really sh sh should think before you think it'll do because when you go out and if you enjoy this the last thing you want is that bit of condensation or that's freezing cold yeah. or that's got damp over there south wales we have a lot of rain we have <laughs> yeah. a lot of cold yeah there has not been one drop of water came into this van yeah it's bone dry it's warm all the time yeah um and that just gives me a little bit of faith knowing that yes i've gone over and above yeah but it's my van so let's yeah. talk about so we've done the insulation we've done we've spoke about the floor um we've not really spoken about electrics um but for those of you who followed my channel you know that i've gone down to uh, Shamai's uh, workshop um, and I was uh, able to help you out mm -hmm. to do your electrics and again you've gone over and above I would say with what I've put in my van you know you, yeah. you've gone for um, an inverter um, a thousand watt inverter in your van you've also uh, done a uh, shore um, hook up yeah hook up lithium batteries um, yeah you've got lithium batteries in there yeah you've got the 50 uh, DC to DC a controller there yeah. which is i've got to say is really good yeah it's really good so i've gone for sort of 130 amp hour um deep cycle cell battery you've actually spent more money um because you knew your requirements are slightly different to mine yeah and i know. think it was also if i didn't like this and, I've, and i'm going to sell the van yeah it's going to be it's an investment yeah but it's going to be more appealing to somebody that this will have everything they need or more than what they need okay so they don't have to worry about in future i'm going to have to upgrade something yeah you know um yeah. if i go up as planned now next year and do the nc500 yeah. i can confidently just head off not worrying about show power or is or, or, yeah. or, or power issues or anything yeah. because i'm going to have everything. adequate you know yeah support if you want then underneath this seat yeah. you know to uh to sort me out you've actually even put a heater in haven't you you've got a is yeah it, i put is a it heater a in last kilowatt? week um um no it's a two kilowatt two, two, two kilowatt, kilowatt. i and did I've have a five kilowatt but I, yeah. I decided against putting that in just on other people's recommendation yeah they said the two is is more than adequate and i think we've noticed it's the first time i've had it on yeah and it pumps out some it's, heat i think one thing that i've been thinking that we have mentioned that i think i would have liked to have done yeah is Put a fan in because this obviously is going to be my first night in the van yeah and one of my concerns was it's going to be like an oven in here despite yeah. it being pretty overcast and quite yeah, windy yeah. and it's quite cold it's at the actually moment. quite cold yeah um but because they've got the solar panels on the roof yeah and i guess the viewers can see from i've probably got half the van spare that i'm going to put a roof box okay so i didn't really have room for a big but fan i think if I did this again, yeah, I would just get a smaller fan, just to have that air circulation. Uh, okay, yeah. Not not for anything other than fresh air, yeah. so I wouldn't have to open the windows in, in okay. the night. From the actual build you've you've done, then, um, I mean, you've got like I said, I mean, there's there's quite a few tricks in here. There's there's a sound bar. You've got a really nice TV uh, that you've invested in yeah. as well. Uh, is it the Ferguson? 22 inch yeah no cello we're doing it's exactly the same is it cello uh, or cello cello, or cello? cello yeah exactly the same tv um however the ferguson made by cello yeah same guarantee yeah. you get two years with the ferguson set okay you only get a year with the cello set same size same spec same yeah. everything so buy the ferguson one because you get a two-year guarantee there you go. um ferguson didn't tell me to say that uh, but, yeah you know, it's just that's why i did it so you yeah, know i've got everything i need in here like you said the sound bar the, the tv yeah um it's got everything i need yeah even the kitchen sink so the <laughs> so the difference is is that with this build and you've you touched on it a little bit earlier on is that um we had conversations uh well we've had a, a lot of conversations actually we've had so many conversations over the last 18 months yeah. uh, uh, we've just finished having a steak mm -hmm. um, very good trying out the barbecue and everything else which i have a hasten to add that your gas locker you've actually put the uh, welsh flag on absolutely it? yeah and you yeah. can see a photo of that as well in the top yeah. of this video um 
So you've gone over and above the design when footprint. Okay. When <laughs> so we were talking about um, what a camper van gives you, really. It gives you that freedom to be able to go out, you know, and uh, explore. I mean, this weekend we're here at the Gower just for the one night for you. This is your first yes, night the first that one. you're going to um, test your van out. You know, it's a, it's a fantastic part of the the Welsh coastline to come down here and albeit it's pretty cold tonight yeah but yeah it's been exciting to to go through the project start to finish and for you to come up you know absolutely with me tonight to, to see you through in the first night to make sure we don't go up in flames <laughs> yeah. and everything is is fine but no it's um it's great and it's it's just having that that ability now yeah to pick your keys up and think to yourself what am I going to do tonight? Yeah. I'm off tomorrow. I know. Yeah. I'll go. Yeah. And you can just go. What would you say your favourite part of the van is on the build? And what would you say the worst part of the build? Um, well, what a question. I guess the bed system and the way the upholstery has been done. I think the, I, I, have, I don't have a negative thing. The only drawback, I think, going forward if I did this again would be to get a high roof fan yeah yeah it's just having that option of being able to stand up and that just a little bit more room yeah or so maybe you... a bigger van where you could yeah. then incorporate a shower. maybe a shower and yeah. and having a you know a toilet area or yeah. something okay most frustrating part of the build for you what um, would you say if, if they're you know because well if, I, I guess frustrating parts for me were wanting it finished the running of all the cables the prep work the soundproofing the yeah. the, the sound deadening the insulation and then seeing it come together yeah but then wanting it done but then hitting them all because i went for the belt and braces yeah power setup yeah um that comes at a price yeah yeah, yeah. um so and I had to wait a little bit until I was in a position to be able to, you know, yeah. to fund everything I needed. Yeah. But as you said, when you came down and the first day that we went, you know, for the first fix of the electrics, yeah. having all those components at hand, yeah. it was relatively quick. Yeah. Albeit you had long days, yeah. but it was relatively quick to get that all put together. Yeah. yeah. And I think once that was all put in place, yeah. Everything just came. Yeah, every, everything came know, together pretty quickly, it was, didn't it? Yeah. You know, many many months of bringing extension lamps in here to work and do things. Yeah. And then one day flicking a switch and you got light. Yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah. Um, you know, so that was good. So, what would your advice be to somebody who's thinking about building a van, um, and you know, is it's done their research but you know they may not be the best when it comes to diy but you know what would your advice be? yeah um don't don't be afraid i would go yes i was fortunate enough that i could i could do something but somebody else may not be as hands-on yeah but they may have a better understanding of systems yeah and how things work i didn't have a clue about 12 volt electrics and how it yeah. works and what i needed to do you still don't no <laughs> i know if i touch that it goes off yeah and if i touch it it comes on um and there's a no, story behind that as well yeah the you know just have a go yeah but speak to people get help exactly like i did with yourself yeah you know you you go online you look at videos there's there's so many videos and it can be a minefield yeah because a lot yeah. of people with respect to them, they may not, they may be brilliant at what they do, yeah. but they may not be the best teachers. Yeah. You know, yeah. and they'll try and explain something to somebody. Yeah. And it's like explaining that to me. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. idea. You can get lost. Yeah. You know, so I need somebody to say, yeah. well, hang on now, right. You know, we get this way in and then that way. In. And I just, yeah. layman's terms, just, you know, one and one is two. So much help out there. Yeah. And so many clever, knowledgeable people. Yeah. But like anything, you know listen to everything watch everything and then you know understand it and then you make your own mind up there what you want to do yeah i mean that, that's that's great advice because i mean i first started out by watching greg burgo yeah you know uh, if you the more and more you sort of do your research 
you know, um, I think the better the outcome. Of the yeah, family. and I think you know what's what's good for you may not be good for somebody else. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know, I initially, as as I told you, my what I wanted to do this was I wanted fitted units all down this side. Yeah. I wanted it to look like those glossy magazines with the rock and roll bed and wow, that's what I want my van to look like. Then having spoken to Nigel about what do I need, what's going to work for me, what sort of van do I want, when we spoke about being able to open the back doors yeah, yeah, and yeah. sit you with, with a drink, you know, or eating your breakfast or whatever, yeah. and looking at the view. Yeah. And not being able to do that if I had a rock and roll bed with the system that I was going to originally go yeah. for, straight away that went out of the window. This works better for me because now I can get in and out of the back door. Yeah. I can get in and out of the side door. Yeah. I've got my beds, and I'd like to think that the setup, the furniture, the way it's all been done, yeah, is as good as any bought furniture. Yeah. That we that we all see for sale, you know, in other companies. Yeah. 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 But you know, you I think you've got to give it some thought, as so what you're going to use the van for, you know, and what works best for you.